What's going on guys, it is your Wimble G Squid here and welcome to another Zombies video here on the channel and guys, this is going to be my first game of Descent here in Advanced Warfare Exo Zombies. If you haven't seen so far in this little mini-series for the last couple weeks, I started with Outbreak, then Infection, then Carrier and I, it, they've been just like this video is going to be of course just my first playthrough of the map technically infection was my first two games but that's because i died in the first i, I died early around six on infection for the first time because that map is uh, that's definitely the hardest map so far for sure then i would say outbreak i think carrier is the easiest but i'm i'm still kind of sad i couldn't use the uh the wonder weapon on carrier the limbo but i was really really excited for that so hopefully i can get the wonder weapon today on descent so guys of course i'm recording this very very late by the way like i got a really really late start today but it's literally like one 30 in the morning dude like i don't consider it even though it's a.m i don't consider this to be early morning i consider it to be late night you know i consider this to be nighttime but anyways uh, i think most people also consider it to be, night, uh, to be nighttime but yeah so descent guys now let me just let me give you a little bit of background here on this map this is the fourth and final map here in exo zombies for advanced warfare so this is gonna be the last time you see me play a uh, aw for at least a couple weeks until i start my my uh, challenges this summer for massacre marathon but um yeah so I will be moving on to the Beast from Beyond, and then the Tortured Path, and then the Frozen Dawn. Those are the only other maps, only three more vids in this little mini-series here, playing these maps for the first time. Those are going to be the last three videos, of course, so I'm really, really excited for the Beast from Beyond. I'm not that excited to play Tortured Path and Frozen Dawn. i got to be honest, because I've heard a lot of bad things, I mean, especially about the Tortured Path. I mean, both those maps are not really considered to be very good, but... um. I mean, Exo Zombies is also not considered to be too good, but I've actually have enjoyed this quite a bit. I mean, Carrier is definitely my favorite map so far, dude. Carrier legitimately seems like a fun map. Like, I actually like the layout. It feels like a fun map. Like, you can see it right here. It's showing Carrier. Carrier is a fun map. Outbreak. Outbreak is pretty cool as well. Infection is definitely my least favorite. Um, yeah, I just don't like the vibe I get from it. And apparently, you get, like, shut out and you get, like locked into the sewers because of the gas that comes through um apparently that happens when you reach like round 30 or something which oh my, there we go as soon as i start talking about infection the burger town shows up but anyways let's go on with xbox live here and uh let's get this going guys let's get this going so my highest round why does it still say it's 16 is what i want to know it still says that even though like if we look here carrier i don't know what this double feature is by the way but if we look here carrier um match I think this is it. Yeah, 21. So I got to round 21. I didn't actually die last game on uh, Carrier. Last vid, uh, last the last video, of course. I just uh, I want to end it at round 21 because I could keep going on for longer if I really wanted to. But I don't want the video to be longer than an hour, really. So, um, anyways, though, guys, let's go into a private match here and descent. So, like I said, this is the fourth and final map. The hunt for Oz leads to a climactic showdown in Atlas's underwater city. Fight with up to four players to survive endless, uh, survive against endless waves of mutant zombies. So, this map, guys, let's see what the background is for this. Um, this is widely regarded as the best map in Exo Zombies, and Noah J456 actually, I watched uh, Lex's reaction to Noah's uh, tier list from 2021. A couple days ago and uh that's a very very funny video i highly recommend you watch that but um noah j456 actually ranked this as his fifth best zombies map of all time like literally in his a tier of zombies maps so i'm gonna is he holding an ak-47 he was totally holding an ak-47 right there dude also is that the wonder weapon right there the trident or whatever i know there's also a blunderbuss that i guess is pretty good on this but I don't know. Anyways, let's just get into this, guys. I don't know exactly what to expect. In a group, Exomedic allows you to revive a teammate quickly. So, the Trident Retreat. So, one thing I was wondering about this map, though, is where are the, um, maybe in the landing area? Where are the, oh, there's Jug right there, the title generator, all the way at the back of the map. Interesting, dude. So, uh, yeah, where are the supply drops, like the care package is going to land? Since this map is, like, underwater, it's like an underwater facility, you know? All right, so I'm playing as Khan. I played as him last time as well. Have I even played as Decker once? I literally don't think I've played as Decker one time, dude. But yeah, so this map, again, we start out outside here. I have seen this spawn room quite a bit. Uh, all right, that's a new little power right here. And uh, I think for the Easter egg for this map, you have to, like, use the exosuit and, like, fly over to these areas. Like, it's it's crazy, dude. It's, uh, it's a crazy-looking map. Um, very, very unique map, and it's actually the most similar map 
made in like made by COD officially, not counting custom maps, of course. Um, it's the closest map we have to Atlantis, you know, to an underwater city type map, you know. But okay, so we can go to the reception, and then I think there's another door. Yeah, right over here, right? We could go to the concierge. I think that's how you pronounce that. Concierge, concierge. Uh, Alright, so let's get the exomedic perk right here. Nice. It's interesting because Carrier again had two different spawn rooms. This map, we're back to one. So we got the MK14. I'm not going to buy that. The landing welcome center. Welcome to the Trident Retreat, dude. So yeah, very, very small spawn room. Definitely, I would actually say this is probably the hardest spawn room to survive in. I mean, this or Infection. Infection's probably still harder to survive in. But, um, just because there's a bunch of garbage in the way in that map, of course, in that spawn. But Outbreak and Carry. Outbreak definitely has the best spawn room. And, uh, in Exos, but uh, I gotta be a little bit careful here. I love the waves coming up too. Like Exo Zombies does these maps really, really well with the uh, with the water. You know, the maps being like near water or like on the water, of course, with Carrier and now this map. But yeah, I'm excited about this, guys. I really, really hope I can use the Wonder Weapon though, because I was able to use the the Magnetron and the Cell Three on Outbreak. I was actually able to get the Cell Three on Carrier as well, but like I said, I wasn't able to get the Limbo. Uh, I think that's the last... Oh, okay, so we can check our kills. I actually... No, I think I've opened that. I just forgot that you could actually check the kills. Because I know in certain COD games, you can't, like, check your kills right here. Um, I think that's only, like, World at War, though. But I don't know. So, all right, I'm going to open uh, the concierge or the reception. I think I'm going to go with this concierge. Let's go here. What the heck is this? I was not expecting that. Oh, look at how... Dude, look at how beautiful this looks. Oh, my goodness. This looks beautiful. Look at the jellyfish and the normal fish, dude. This is cool looking, bro. Relax, drink, sleep, exo. Um, I mean, that's basically Advanced Warfare in a nutshell, isn't it, dude? So, we got the... Uh, okay, good. The MP11, I would actually want to buy that because I usually buy the uh, AMR9. So you can see the map right here. This is a beautiful map, dude. Oh, and look at the water up above, flowing up above. Okay, this is actually the this is the coolest looking map in this game so far, dude. Oh my goodness, dude. Imagine being down here. I don't think I would go down in a place like this in real life, though, because I'm I'm kind of scared of water. Like, I'm, I'm quite scared of water. But all right, let's get um the oh wait, what is this again? Okay, excellent stockpile. Oh, it says it right there. The future realized by Atlas. And it actually tells you. This is the only map, I think, where it actually tells you what the perks are next to it. It's kind of like, um, Verrucked, I guess, in that way. You'd think that they would have put this on a map like, you know, Outbreak. Like, the first map. But, upgrade to incre increased weapon plasticity and ammo stowage to mow down the opposition. But this doesn't give you more ammo like Bandolier Bandit, though. This literally just, um... I found it, I, it, Carrier was the first map, I used it last time, of course, uh, it just allows you to hold extra grenades, like one extra equipment, but, alright, let's buy the, uh, the Mipple, the Mipple here, it's actually not the Mipple, I call the MPL the Mipple from, uh, BO1, but, I mean, it, it's kind of close to the same thing, have I even used this gun yet in this game? I don't think I have, dude, alright, so, relax with Exo, head to the Galeria, and pick up yours today, alright, okay, well, the Galeria is right there, wait a second, Hold on, there's a lot of doors. There's a little... Oh, no, dude. Uh, wasn't there a door? Yeah. The... Wait. These both take you to the spa. Okay. So then... All right, let me look here. Let me actually see what I need to do. So, again, I need to get to the gal... Okay, so the exosuit... Okay, yeah, so we need to get... We need to get to the Galeria. So, okay, what what is in the... um, What is in the spa? Oh, decontamination zone. Yeah, if you look at the map right there, that diamond icon. Alright. Well, let's get this going. And... Okay, there we go. So I need 30 more points here, and then I can open up the Galeria. The Galleria. It's probably... Gal yeah, Galleria sounds better than uh, Galeria. <laughs> Alright, there we go, dude. So, yeah, but this map looks it looks a lot better than I thought. And then they do have the teleporters as well from Carrier. The teleporters were quite useful on that map. All right, so let, what the heck is this guy doing, dude? It's like a hologram. Oh, it's dogs. It's dogs, isn't it, dude? It's dogs. The music is kicking in. 
Oh, jeez. I still remember when I first played Outbreak a couple weeks ago, dude. I was, I freaked out <laughs> when, uh, when the dogs first spawned in, man. Because I didn't expect it. I actually forgot that there were dogs in this game. Oh, look at this little, yeah, this little bar over here. Dude, this is cool looking. This is a really, really cool map. All right. And we got the, uh, the HBR A3 right there. What is this? I can't open that yet. This is crazy, dude. Bardo Lucini's Italian Bistro. What is a bistro? Like a bar or something? Italian bar? This, look at the, man, this looks cool. Oh, wait, so I can go up here? Okay, hold on. A care package just came down. Like I said, that's that's what I was kind of um, intrigued about, or I was interested in seeing where the uh, care package actually dropped. Okay, so here's the care, here's the uh, exosuit right here. So the power switch is right over here. So this thing isn't very good, but obviously it's gonna give me some good points here early on. All right, hopefully I don't get killed by a trap. I see lasers everywhere. So yeah, Infection is the only map where the security power-up doesn't exist. Which is uh, which is quite interesting, dude. Wait a second. Oh, that makes crawlers? Really? That's weird. Alright, that gives me 200 points right there. And where are the rest of the zombies? Oh, look at this, dude. I guess it kind of makes sense because the lasers are close to the ground, of course, that it makes crawlers, but still kind of weird. You'd think that it would just instantly kill them, but... Alright, let's get this going. Yeah, but I'm really, really hyped to play uh, IW Zombies, man. Look at this, dude. I just love this. Like, this is cool, dude. I actually like Exo Zombies, not gonna lie. I like it more than I thought I was gonna. I definitely do. I'm glad I'm finally able to play it, you know? After years. I, I, I was supposed to get it last year. Oh, look at... Whoa! Where the hell are we? This looks like fun. Oh, so many fun buttons. What Holy does shit. this one do? Okay. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Um. I didn't know. <laughs> I thought... Okay. You're becoming a real pain in my ass, Angie. Okay, apparently I did something. Apparently I, I, I touched the laser or something. Exo Slam. Um Wait, greater jump heights. I didn't know you could jump higher with Exo Slam. I guess it makes sense, but um Okay, title generate wait, isn't this where Jug is? I think this is where Jug is. Yeah, because doesn't it go right right here and then... Oh, I have seen this room in videos. I have seen this room. Oh, jeez. I might as well. I got to get going, dude. Wait, what is this? Okay, good thing. This... Wait, is this a door? Where are the doors, dude? What do we got right here? AMR9. Wait. Oh, no. This is bringing me back to spawn. Oh, thank the Lord for explosive touch, dude. Oh, no. Wait, so here's Jug. So I was going the right way. No way, dude. This is a savage jug location, dude. This is a terrible jug location. Like, you literally have to get... Like, that is insane. You like that? I just landed right on top of him and just <laughs> blew him up with that, dude. I love that power-up, dude. That... I wish that was in Treyarch Zombies. It is kind of in BO2 with the, um, the perma perks. Apparently, there's a red insta-kill that basically gives you the same effect as that. But, like, I'm talking like an actual power-up, you know, not just a perma perk. Because I never really use perma perks anyways. Alright, though. Where's the box at? I gotta find the box. I want to start hitting the box rather than getting wall guns here. Just so that I can have a better chance of getting the wonder weapon. Although, I'm I'm not as interested in the, uh, the trident wonder weapon as I am with the... Or as I was, I should say, with the limbo. I really, really wanted to use that dang limbo gun. Okay, so... I guess I'll open the spa and see if the box is in here. This is such a cool looking map, dude. Okay, contact grenade. I actually don't think I bought those yet. Like, bro, this is such a beautiful map. I don't know if it's top five zombies maps of all time. They're Noah J456, but I mean, 
I can't really say yet, <laughs> but I really don't think it'd be in the top five. I need to do an updated map ranking. Um, after I play these other three maps, dude, I need to do an updated map ranking for sure. Okay, so... Yeah, so you can't get back up there like that. So then... Okay, here's the reception. So box has to be in the reception area. Or the 3D printer, whatever you want to call it, dude. Okay, so... That's attack 19. Wait, I can't open that. The promenade... Dude, where is the box, man? What the heck? I haven't actually struggled to find the box this much on any of these maps so far. Okay. Promenade. Okay, we got some credits. I might need to buy MP11 ammo if I don't find the mystery... Okay, here we go, dude. Here it is. So, elevator 3. That's a creepy hallway right there, dude. Alright. I should... Oh, yeah. I'd definitely get enough. Holy, dude. There's a lot more zombies than I thought left. My goodness. Oh, baby! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. We're good. Free fire. Oh, such a cool power-up. Like, why does Treyarch not have this either, man? Like, Exo Zombies has some amazing power-ups. So does, um... So does IW Zombies, though. Oh, my gosh. I want a point gun, dude. I want a point gun. Not this. Ah, uh, I wish I had a fire cell right now, but... Okay, so this is the Annex. Alright, I guess I'll just try to open up the doors here on this map. Okay. And then I gotta go get those uh, those care packages too. I mean, the, the M1 irons are actually pretty good, I've noticed. But, again, I would like a point gun. What did I just get? The Amelie? Alright, I'll take this right now. I guess I, uh, I probably should have kept the M1 the M1 irons just for getting zombies out of my way quickly. All right, but this will do for right now. Wait, I haven't found the upgrade machine actually yet, have I? Oh goodness, dude! Whoa! All right, let's open the annex and let's see what we got here. I'm assuming there's going to be an upgrade machine somewhere in here. Okay, we got Speed Cola, Exo Reload right there. There's the Explosive Touch. More Firepower, Great Stink. What does it mean by more Firepower? See, I don't think these actually are like... I, I, these little, like, descriptions for the perks. I don't think they're actually accurate. Because more Firepower, what do you mean by that? You know, they're very vague. My goodness, dude. There's so many ways you can go on this map. Wait, it, no, that's a 3D printer. Oh, we got this drone again. He just said treasure drone. Hold on. Give me it. Give me it. Wait, what is it? What the heck is that? I, bro, I gotta take this thing out. It gives you... Oh, nice. Max ammo, dude. Okay. So, I don't know if there's a boss zombie on this map. And I also don't know if there's any, like, special rounds like there are on Infection with the Survivors. And, um, Carrier with the... Uh, the bomb defusals. I didn't actually mind the bomb defusal. Oh, here we go. Nice, got an upgrade machine. Yeah, I didn't mind the bomb defusal, but, uh, the survivor round sucked, dude. Oh, here we go. Uh-oh, I need to get over to the spa. I really, really need to get over to the spa. Where does this take me? Alright, well, we're gonna find out, dude. We're gonna find out. Where the heck? Oh! Perfect, dude! Literally perfect. Great, great teleport. Alright. And then... Yeah, I want to I want to try out that teleporting grenade though cuz I wasn't able to use that cuz there's just so many different pieces of equipment in this game, dude. But uh yeah, that was on carrier as well. I think it was in the armory on the wall. But uh yeah, I want to try out the contact grenade and the teleporting grenade. I used the nano swarm for the first time though on carrier, so that was pretty good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, these infected zombies are so fast. But yeah, when you go on the actual pad right there, it kills everything, which is pretty useful. Uh, you know what, dude? I'm going to buy the contact grenade right now. I think I did buy these before, but I didn't really use them. But yeah, equipment is actually really, really useful in Exos. Oh, I did not see that guy. 
Obviously, I could have saved some points if I actually was trying to avoid them there, but I wasn't really trying too hard. Okay, this is the first playthrough, you know, I'm, it's not it's not too bad. Oh, wait, did I just, hold on, did I just use that when I, I wasn't even infected, was I? Because I ended the round, I think? I don't know, I, I wasn't paying attention, dude. Okay, so, hold on. I want to go get the, um, the care packages. So, yeah, I got to go up here. And this is going to take me to the tidal generator. Alright, so it doesn't really take too long to get up here because you can just use the exosuit, of course, but still, man, like, this is a crazy spot to put Jug. Okay, yeah, so they do drop up there. They drop up there and up here. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, the Goliath! Okay. Look at this, dude. Oh, my goodness. This is sick. Yep, just like it is in multiplayer. Whoa, I'm stuck on this guy. I didn't even... I was like, what am I... Why can't I move, dude? Oh, they're going down, bro. They're going down. And you can self-destruct it as well. Hold on. Homing rockets, and then you got normal rockets, too. Push through, dude! Oh, this is sick. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is amazing, dude. So that'd be my favorite kill streak in this game so far because you can actually control it yourself, you know. Wait, does it have a timer or does it have health? Or both? I don't know. Alright, though. I think you need to use the Goliath for the Easter for the Easter egg as well, because I watched um Lex and Noah play the uh the Easter egg. And uh, I think they had to do that. Oh, I can credits, nice. Okay, so I can't exo jump or anything though, but I mean this thing is amazing. Wait, does it only give you... Okay, it said 50% for the Goliath. Does it only give you... And I think it only gives you 40 points per kill. Even if it's a... Um, even if I get like a headshot. Yeah, you only get 40 points per kill, dude. Oh my goodness, that was like a barrage, dude. Okay, I think I'm going to self-destruct this thing. Oh, jeez. I was not expecting to just instantly be out of it like that. thought there was going to be like a little cutscene or something. All right, let's get this, I guess. Let's get some points with this uh, this MP11. Okay, I didn't break it. Did not break it. Oh, my goodness, bro. Wait, where'd the drone go? Is it gone? No, I think it's gone. Dude, no, there it is. Alright, ooh, we got a uh, free fire. Okay. Okay, I think I'm gonna go hit the box. I think I'm gonna see where this teleporter takes. Okay, so what do these give, though? Like, what does the, the drone drop like that? I have no clue, dude. Okay. Wait, transit tube? Oh, this probably takes you to spawn, huh? Yep, that is cool. Alright, I actually do need this, because I need this camouflage. Camouflage is very, very useful. Alright, hopefully this gives me more than 100 credits. <laughs> 600 beautiful all right and then we can grab this one i found out on carrier that you can carry three kill streaks at once all right so let's go back down here and okay stockpile right there all right let's get this uh this 3d printer going dude i got a grenade what is this teleporting grenade no the nano swarm okay that's good that's very very good actually it's so cool how you have the different grenade. Oh, there's the blunderbuss. Okay, so people say this thing is incredible. So I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> First time using the dang blunderbuss. What do we got right here? Is this the... Oh, oh, yeah, the ohm. Okay, so I think this is an LMG. Okay, it's off. Good, good, good. I want to use these guns. Okay. Uh, the explosive drone. We saw that earlier. Okay, so speed cola. I think I should definitely get speed cola. Wasn't it right here? Yeah. Because this blunderbuss, let me just show you. Yeah, the blunderbuss, dude, it's literally like a musket. It, it takes forever to reload. But, uh, alright, this EMZ. Oh, yeah. I like how the EMZ is, like, extremely, like, high-tech, you know? And then I got a blunderbuss that I'm killing it with, you know? <laughs> alright, there we go. Give me XO reload, and this should be a much, much more tolerable reload now. Still long, but what do you expect, you know? 
All right. So then I think this gun actually can switch into a, uh, yeah, toggle grenade launcher right here. Oh, no, it's like a shotgun. Okay. Oh, I definitely need that, dude. Definitely need that. You gotta be careful when doing that, though. When jumping into the hordes like that in this game. Because if there's an EMZ around, you're pretty much dead. Like, there's not much you can actually do. I do like this thing, though. Definitely need to work on upgrading, though, soon. Kind of wish Mule Kick was in this game, though, man, because... Ah, uh, it would just be, uh... Like, I don't know what gun to get rid of here, man. I don't really want to get rid of... Because people say the Blunderbuss is so good, and I kind of want to upgrade... You know what? I'm going to upgrade the Blunderbuss, dude. I'm going to upgrade it, even though the upgrading in this game really doesn't change the weapons too much. And, like, give them different abilities. It mostly just gives them a new camo and more damage, you know? Wait, what did you just say? What did you just say? I have no clue. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, here's the 3D printer. All right. Yeah, but one thing I noticed about... Ooh, that was a nice little clat right there. One thing I noticed about this game is... Guns like the Mayhem, even though I haven't really used it yet. I've seen other people use it. Uh, oh, that's a distraction drone. Ooh, I'm going to take that instead of the uh, Nano Swarm. Um, one thing I noticed, though, is weapons like the shotguns and the launchers are actually really good in this game. Which is funny, because usually in zombies, they're, like, some of the worst guns, you know? Alright, though. I know for the... for the uh, Oh, there's the Mayhem. Speak of the devil, man. Speak of, speaking of the Mayhem. Um... Oh, this again, dude? Why, though? Like, I don't know what to do in this. Like, do I just... Is that a... That's an upgrade machine, isn't it? I want you to know, none of this is personal. It's just the zombie. deactivated. I really need to look up the story in this game, like actually try to understand what's going on with the story. Oh, I can kill him. Um. Whoa. What the heck am I getting? Hold on, what? Stay low. This is, I don't understand this this gives you uh what a max ammo it does well let me not get that yet okay uh i really am confused right now bro because i know there's two oz boss fights and obviously this is the first one but i mean this would be a sick training spot if you can actually use it okay there's lasers coming across the area now which is not good Oh, it's a sentry gun, dude. Can I actually destroy this? Okay, well. I'm, f I'm so confused right now, dude. Oh, you can buy one contact grenade at a time for 500. Okay. Well, that's not good, obviously. Um. Can I shoot him? No, I can't shoot him. I really have no clue what's going on right now, dude. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Don't touch the floor. I don't know what happens when I touch the floor. Oh, what the heck is this? Bro, what is he saying? <laughs> oh, there actually are... Oh, wait, I couldn't jump there, dude. So, did I actually mess it up before when, the, when I was brought in here the first time? Or was that supposed to happen? Was I supposed to get teleported out? Because I didn't... I don't think I got hit by the laser. Should I get this max ammo, dude? Probably should. 
Quickly, quickly. Cause I don't know how much longer this is gonna last for, dude. Like how much longer does this go on? Oh, they got a 3D printer? Yeah, like what is this? Okay, um, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be shooting him right now. <laughs> like, I think I'm losing, I'm missing out on my windows of shooting him. And that's that buzzer sound I keep hearing. But like, okay, dude. Wait, what did I just see? Oh, I think that's the decontamination zone in the middle. I just saw, yeah. I am so confused right now, and to be honest, dude, I don't like this. I, like, I, I better get some crazy, crazy reward for this, dude. Like, something insane. Yep, okay, I can hit him now. Bro, how many shots? dude okay well now he's here I'm just oh geez I'm just so confused dude like what am I gonna get for doing this cuz I better get like my gun upgraded like five times I swear dude what the heck oh another uh, sentry okay I'm not gonna lie I'm, I'm upgrading this home Okay, so once these lasers go away, I should be able to start ki start killing him. Whoa, these are different guys. Yep, these are different. I don't know what they are. Okay, he should be opening up here. Be one pump chomping with a blunderbuss, dude. That's a shocker. Did I miss my chant? I don't think I did. I don't think he. I don't think it even opened up. This thing is quite fun to use, but, um, Okay. One more, one more, uh, area, dude. One more window. Okay, we got this gas again. Hmm. I'm just, I, I literally, I'm not talking too much. Cause I'm just, like, again, this is my first time playing this map. I have literally zero clue what's going on right now. I've never watched anybody do this before. Clearly. Otherwise, it'd be done by now. But I just like this slows down the game so much. Like I don't, I don't understand. Should probably get the max ammo pretty soon. Oh, here's the teleporting dummy. Oh no, dude. Whoa, 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 dude. You know what? Forgot I had distraction drones. Okay, let me disinfect. Okay, this is actually getting harder now. I mean, it is the last window, I guess, but... I'm getting this max ammo going. Actually, I'm gonna use this first. Alright. Yeah, I get, like, no points for killing zombies in this, do I? I literally don't think I get anything. Yeah, I don't get any points. Okay, sentry gun's right there. Wait, the max ammo didn't refill all my equipment, actually. Only refilled one. This better be the last time I have to do this, like, ever on this map. Okay, well, the shield is deactivated, but obviously I'm not close to him, so I better not fail this, dude. I want to get back to the map, man. Are you insane? 
Oh my freaking goodness. I hate boss fights, dude. I hate boss fights, man. I genuinely despise boss fights. Especially ones where, like, I don't expect me to be in a boss fight, and then it just kicks me out of the game. Literally teleports me out of the map. It just force, force, forcefully teleports me out of the map, and then I'm in the boss fight. Like, huh. And you know what's funny? Is the amount of damage that I just did to him isn't going to be saved. How much you want to guarantee it's not? How much you want to guarantee I'll have to damage him all over again, dude? All over again. Thank the Lord, dude. Okay, so what do I get from that? I get an achievement, cool, but what do I actually get from that? Like 15k? 850, that's it? What do I get from that? What did I just get? A DNA bomb that kills zombies that aren't even in the map? Like, what is it giving me right now? Okay, 1150. And then I can get this. Okay, I guess you get a little bit of points, and then there's more right here, too, that I'm gonna probably not be able to get. Oh, I got it. Alright, so we got some points, but I mean, it wasn't giving me points for killing the zombies in the place. I don't like that, man. I don't really like that. Um. Yeah. Weird feature. This is the Lynx. Weird feature. Yeah, not a big fan of it so far, man. Like, it literally just wasted close to 10 minutes. I, I swear to you it did. Like, that was literally close to 10 minutes of wasting, dude. Like, what was the point of that? A couple thousand points that I would have... Like, do you understand how the amount of points it just gave me, I could have easily gotten? I could be, like, close to around 20 right now. Literally. Yeah, I do not like that feature, man. I don't like that. That better be the last time I have to do that. That better be, man. This power-up is so awesome. Alright, let me go this way. So I could pat this. I'm gonna pat the blunderbuss, man. Blunderbuss Mark II. Okay, so. Let's open this up so that brings me into the middle, to middle sort of area of the map. Alright, dude. Okay, I think this is the last zombie. I just don't like how hard it is to find the 3D printer, but here it is. All right. It's so hard to find the 3D printer in this game. AE4. Okay, I'm just going to cycle through, dude. I know this gun is absolutely terrible. I just got the ohm right back. Oh, but yeah, I did find that out on Carrier. It actually gives me the, uh, the Mark II variant still, too. Okay. Um... You know what? Let me call on this drone, I guess. And then, yeah, dude. Where is the dang... Oh, we got a DNA bomb. Where is this wonder weapon, this trident at? That's a nano swarm, I think. Yep. I'm gonna keep the distraction drone. The nano swarm is good, though. I mean, it's... it's. I don't really know which one is better. But, uh... They both seem to be really, really good. M1 irons... Yeah, this is a drone that's not as good. I like the one where it shoots rockets. That one's better, I think, for sure. This seems like a decent training spot. I mean, dude, if this was Treyarch Zombies, this would be, like, one of the best training spots of all time. Like, this is a huge room. But, man, with Exos, I mean, you're just so underpowered at all times, you know? All right, thank you, drone. All right, round's over. Nice. Okay, can I get something that I... Ah, oh man, dude. Yeah, I don't... I really don't like the ability to, like, choose what gun you get from the 3D printer. I don't really like that, man. I don't really like that. Wait. What is it saying? Infection round? Seems like I just did this, which, I mean, I, I, I did two rounds ago. Um, wait a second. Round... Oh, yeah. I, I, okay, I just got confused for a second. Yeah, it feels like I just did infected zombies just because I did um, with the Oz boss fight, you know? There were infected zombies in there, dude. All right, well, let me go like this. Kill some of them with that. 
the box up real quick. And the box is gone. Not good, not good. Yeah, dude, the amount of infected zombies, man. There's just, just so dang many. Did I even hit anybody there? I think I did. Hit marker didn't show up, though. Oh, dude, EMZs when you have infected zombies are freaking terrible, dude. They are terrible. All right, though. Okay, so where did the 3D printer go? Oh, round over. Um... Okay, I can't go in there. Maybe that's for like an Easter egg or something. Um. Yeah, so where's the 3D printer, bro? Like, I really, really want to get the dang Wonder Weapon, man. But I just, I can't seem to get it. You know what? I'm going to upgrade this again. Blunderbuss is actually pretty good. It, it is good at getting zombies on my way. It is a pretty good gun. All right, though. Oh, perks. I should probably be focusing more on perks, too. Hold on a second. Infinite ammo? Oh, no. It doesn't count for the blunderbuss. Dang, dude. That sucks. Infinite ammo does not work on the blunderbuss. <laughs> that would be literally insane if it did, though. It probably works for the wonder weapon, though. All right. AMR 9 again. Okay, so... I am looking for... Oh, okay, I'll take this one. Yeah, but without this teleporter being here, I mean, this would be a complete and utter death trap, but where does it take me? Spawn? Yeah, spawn. All right, I'll take this, I guess. Just a sentry turret. I'll take some credits, which I actually do need. Ah, no, I don't need it if it's 100 dang credits, dude. Like, <laughs> what is that? Like, come on, dude. All right, to so the bulldog. Wait, where are the zombies at? That's the Goliath right there. Um, yeah, where are the zombies, bro? No way do they actually like run from the other side. Of do they actually? If so, then that's actually crazy because that doesn't happen in Treyarch zombies. If you teleport, they just start spawning wherever you teleport, wherever you end up, you know. Yeah, bro, I need a wonder weapon. I need a wonder weapon. All right, let me farm some points. Dude, the freaking crawler should not be able to boost like that. Like, just dash towards you, man. Like, that is devastating. All right, I think that's the last zombie. Okay, so I'm looking for the box. Where is the box? It is over by Exo Soldier and Exo Reload, which is right over here. Um, you won't have a choice. I've locked this maybe in the lounge. There is no escaping. Oh, the teleport grenade, dude! I really, really need to try that out. You know what? Screw it. I'm buying that. It gets rid of my. Okay, that better be worth it. It gets rid of my, uh, distraction drone. The lounge. I like how she said that. Alright, so let's see here. Okay, here's the box. Alright, so let's see. Where's this dang... Dude, I just keep getting the same things, man. It's because the box isn't random. I literally would ha rather have this be completely random, like in Treyarch, rather than this weird system where you can, like, choose what you get, but at the same time you can't because it's just so fast. So it just makes it hard to get what what you actually want, it seems like. I don't know, man. I don't know. I could just be bad at it because I'm, I'm new to this game, but... I don't know, dude. Okay. Let me put up a sentry real quick. Um, Let's tear some shit up. So yeah, I am going to stop at round 21, though. That way the video is not too long. At the S12. I kind of want to try that. I haven't really tried it yet. And there, I'm dead. No, I'm dead. Why? Because I can't boost, Sludgehammer. Why? Because of freaking EMZs. That is why. That's the only reason why. Literally, the only reason why. Everybody knows this. Ruins the game. It really, really does. It makes the game very, very frustrating to play.
purple teleporting zombies. Okay, I got a question for you, Sledgehammer. Why is this unupgraded S12 on round 18 literally better than every single assault rifle in this game? Pack a punch to like tier five, tier 10. I don't understand it. I don't understand why this thing is better than a tier, like a tier 10 Pap Day R right now. I really don't get that, but. Good thing you don't lose your perks in this game when you die, because. Oh, it'd be so annoying if you did. With the dang EMZs, because. If you notice, every single time I die in this game, it's because of the EMZs. Because I can't move, but yet the, the zombies can move faster than me, you know? It's just insanity. But look at my points going up right now. Alright, though. Let me get back, to, back over to the box here. Um, For perks, I, could, I need to get Exo Medic back, of course. Uh, I already got speed. That's the RW1. Alright, dude. I don't know if I should keep the blunderbuss or if I should pat the S12. Because, dude, the S12 is really, really good. Bro, come on with this dang 3D printer. It is actually really, really annoying getting the water weapons in this game, isn't it? Like, it is very, very annoying. Because you don't know where the box moves to. Like, my goodness, dude. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to buy Exo Soldier. It's only 1750. Sure It'll be nice. quite useful for the, uh, yeah, with the shotgun here. Alright, so... Where's a map of the place? Where'd the box move to, dude? Exo Soldier should have a lot more effects than just making you, than giving you gung-ho, basically, dude. Alright, it's, uh... Wait. Exo Slam. Isn't Exo Slam literally, like, right here? Wait, where's Exo Slam again? Uh... Okay. The Great Hall. Alright, so... No, is it up here? I don't think it is. is it? No, the Exo Suit's up here. Um... Oh, it's right here. Hey, this one's online. Wait! Is this it? Oh, thank you, dude. Thank you. All right. Okay, I was not expecting that. I have no clue what the heck this thing is. <laughs> oh, my goodness, dude. All right. Well, I got the Trident, so the only Wonder Weapon that I wasn't actually able to use is the uh, is the LZ-52 Limbo. But, yeah, but this, uh, this spa seems like my favorite. This is my favorite training spot so far on this map. The good thing with Exozombies, though, is there isn't really a shortage of good training spots on every single map, you know? Every map has a good training spot, you know? Whereas, like, Treyarch Zombies, certain maps don't. Like, Shangri-La or an Verrucht, you know? Like, certain maps do not have a good training spot, man. And those tend to be my least favorite maps, because it's just, like, where's, like, where's the fun in that, you know? So this is, like, the D... What is it called? Um, in... It's a D... It's the... The disc gun in BO3 multiplayer. It's like the D28 Sector or something like that. But I do need to get Exomedic, bro. I actually really, really do. Hold on. Let me, uh, yeah, let me switch to that. I did not mean to use that. And I can't move, dude. Come on. The freaking EMZs are terrible, man. Like, they are absolutely terrible. So where does this take me, though? Have I used this one yet? Um... Okay, I'm over here at the lounge. Uh, all right. Well, you know what? I'm going to pat this because it's not too good right now. Not going to lie, dude. All right, so spawn should be over here. Bro, how am I missing? Like, this thing is unbelievably inaccurate, man. Okay, this is the transit tube, right? Uh, apparently not. I thought that... Okay, it's right here, then. Okay, just give me Exo Medic, and then I'll feel feel a lot better about myself here. Alright, so, let me... let me. Uh, should I enter the Goliath? No, I don't think I'm gonna. 
I don't think I'm gonna. We already used that. I, I want to use this thing. I want to upgrade this thing as much as possible before I end it. Which, again, next round is gonna be the last round I play just because I don't want the video, like I said, to be too long. I mean, it's a first playthrough, man, you know? Uh, I mean, this Wonder Weapon sounds cool and looks cool, but again, I don't know how to use it, is the problem. Because it, like, bounces in between zombies and kills them, but it's, like, random. Oh, you know what? Stockpile. I forgot about that. Yeah, this thing will not save you in a corner at all. But then again, none of the Wonder Weapons in this game really will, you know? None of them are really that good. I think the Limbo is probably the best, but, that, you know, that's why I was just so excited to use it. And just so disappointed that I wasn't able to use it, you know? But, alright, so what does this teleport grenade do? Hold on, does it teleport the zombies? Hold on, what the heck did that just do? If I die here, bro... Like, what did the teleporting grenade do? I'll tell you one thing it didn't do. It certainly is not better than the Nano Swarm and the uh, Distraction Drone. I'll tell you that right now. It's certainly not worth holding over that thing. Or over those things, I should say. Those two pieces of equipment, but... Okay, so if you miss with this weapon, what is the point of this Wonder Weapon? Like, a Wonder Weapon that is random and hits a random area is a bad Wonder Weapon. Like, <laughs> like that literally goes against the point of having a Wonder Weapon. Like, a Wonder Weapon is literally supposed to just easily kill everything and not be random. Like, is the Thunder Gun random? Is the Apothecan Servant random, dude? Like... The ice staff, the lightning bolt, like, come on, dude. Like, what even is this thing? Like, it, again, it looks it's sort of cool, but it's it doesn't even look that cool, honestly. It's mostly just the electric at the at the front of it. All right, so the uh, upgrade machine's right here, though. Are you okay, dude? Really? What am I? What am I playing right now? This is actually worse than infection and carrier. This is worse, dude. Because it literally kicks me out of the freaking map. Before I could even upgrade my my wonder weapon, before I could upgrade anything? Like what? And then I'm infected instantly. Like oh, requires power. Apparently there's no power now. Like what? Dude, this is literally a waste of time. These boss fights. And what did I get from the last boss fight? A couple thousand points? Like seriously. It's just not worth it. And am I even doing any damage to him? Is my question. Okay, I did some damage, obviously, but I'm infected again. <laughs> like, this map, dude. I, I, I genuinely, like, look at this. I'm doing, like, literally no damage to him. Like, how do I take off? Is, is there a way to take off? Nice. And, of course, literally freaking power is off after... Are you insane? Hold... Like, what even is this map? Like, the map itself is not bad. It's worse than Carrier. I'll tell you that right now. I don't like this map as much as I did Carrier. But, um, yeah. The fact that I have to freaking turn on power like this... And look, it powers off again. What am I playing, dude? Okay, reinforcements. Will they do anything against this guy, though? Nice, they're already dead. And then I'm gonna get infected. And then I have to turn on all the power switches. A freaking Gin Sledgehammer. Dude, I genuinely want to know what the frick was going through Sledgehammer's freaking minds when they designed this map. Like, what was going through their freaking sick, twisted minds? Like, what am I playing, dude? It's just so annoying okay obviously this is the best weapon to use the blunderbuss does literally like nothing like look at this dude it, it, it's like when they designed this is this fun having to literally go and turn on the power and you know what the you know what's funny you know what's funny about this is look at this i don't even get 100 points for turning on the power switches bro I don't even get points for doing this, like you normally do in the normal game. <laughs> like, 
I, I, I genuinely don't know what they were thinking and what they were on when they designed this. This is terrible, bro. This is a terrible, terrible system. Now what? We're gonna have lasers and everything, zombies, and then I and then I have to waste more ammo in my weapon here and wait for the freaking boss to come back that I've only killed a quarter of the way in literally like five minutes. Oh, and would you look at that? Power is off yet again. Yeah, this is for sure the last round I'm playing. This literally might be my least favorite map in this game. I actually think I might like Infection more because, dude, it literally kicks me out of the normal map and puts me in this boss fight arena to do a forced boss fight, dude. Imagine if they did that to you on Gorod Krovi. You think that would you think that would go over well with the general consensus of the community? Like Noah J456, what the frick are you saying, dude? Top five zombies map of all time. <laughs> like, what is going through your sick twisted mind, bro? I just, I have no clue, man. I genuinely just don't even know what this is. I did hold X, by the way, on the dang pad, but it didn't work, which is hilarious. Uh, well, let me get this max ammo right here, and then another one will spawn in, and would you look at that? I'm infected. Big surprise. Takes me freaking 18 seconds to capture that. I just love this game. I love this game. You can tell how much I'm enjoying myself here on this map. Literally, why would they ruin this map by having these forced boss fights? I just genuinely don't understand it. I, I I don't get it. And this boss is literally faster than me. Do you notice that? You notice that? I I just this is such a freaking waste of my time, bro. Like it's annoying me because the video should be over by now. Like this wonder weapon does nothing. It does nothing! What am I playing, bro? Oh, and then each time I get hit, it takes off freaking five seconds, two of my infection timer? Literally, who designed this boss fight? I've never seen anybody complain about this boss fight before. This forced boss fight, these multiple forced boss fights. I've never seen anybody complain about them, but what are people doing if they're not complaining about this? Like, why are people not complaining about this boss fight, is what I want to know. Why? Like, this is terrible, bro. Like, this is genuinely such a waste of my time. And you know what's funny? Is, again, what am I going to get as a reward for this? I'm literally doing an entire boss fight right now. What am I going to get as a reward for this, dude? Points? A couple thousand points? <laughs> like, that's it. That's all I'll get. I freaking literally guarantee you that's all I'll get. Or maybe, you know what? Maybe it'll be like the survivors. Maybe I'll get a weapon upgrade. One weapon upgrade, huh? Maybe that's what I'll get, huh, guys? So exciting. So worth it. So worthwhile, huh? Uh, and then I can't move most of the time because of the freaking EMV effect. And nice. Now I have this... Ah, sludge hammer. Oh, sludge hammer. I don't know. Am I missing something here? Why do people say this map is good? Like, this system right here, this forced boss fight arena, like, it literally ruins the map for me. Like, this really, really ruins the map for me. Because just think, how am I supposed to do a two-box challenge when I have to do a boss fight like this? How am I supposed to do that? Oh, and then it infects me. Cute. Oh, and then I have to turn on power. Or, yeah, turn turn the power back on, huh? <laughs> this... Oh, my gosh, man. Are you freaking kidding me right now, Sledgehammer? I literally have been in this arena for almost 10 minutes, and uh, the guy's not even half dead yet. Like, he's literally half dead. Think about that, guys. Think about that. Like, what just... What did that do? It teleports me. Like, what the frick is the point of that? How is that better than a distraction drone? How is that even a replacement for a distraction drone? Huh? Huh? Oh my gosh, man. He didn't even hit me there. I literally just walked through the frickin' thing. But... Uh, 
Again, you don't get any points in here, so you can't upgrade your gun at all. Wonder Weapon doesn't kill a freaking zombie. How the mighty have fallen. What it what defeat Oz again in descent. I, apparently, what do you mean defeat Oz again? I didn't kill the boss. And now there's a, a, ten, a 10 second countdown. Yay, 600 credits for that. Yay, 1050 credits for that. Yay, 850. Like, what if... Sledgehammer, you cannot be serious right now. That literally just ruined the map for me, dude. That did. If I have to do that every time I play this freaking map, which I guarantee you have to, because there's no way you're only going to be able to do it one time. Like, again, I didn't do anything to activate that boss fight. I literally did nothing. I literally am just walking around playing the freaking map the way it's meant to be played. And then what? I get punished and put into a boss fight where it takes 10 minutes almost. My weapons do nothing. I have to turn, I literally turn on four, not just one, not just two, not just three, four power switches over and 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 over again. And probably even more than that, you know, like I just did. I actually have no clue what they were thinking with that, bro. They, I better not have to do that. I swear to you, if I have to do that every time I play this map, I'm never, this is going to be like my least favorite map in zombies history, dude. I genuinely don't see how they could actually make that fun. Like, it's such a stupid feature, man. Like, it's so dumb. Like, force me to... Force me to go into not just one boss fight, but two boss fights, Sledgehammer. Two. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable, man. My goodness. Like, that literally ruined... Like, this map was actually going to be pretty good. Still not as good as Carrier, though. I think... Yeah, Carrier is definitely my favorite map in this game. But, bro... Uh, like... Because the boss fight... Look at how long it takes to, to aim with this thing, by the way. Like, what the heck, dude? Yay! EMZs! Again! Again! Well, they never left, so... Yeah. Um... No, I actually want to know what the point of this Wonder Weapon is, though, guys. <laughs> like, what is the point of this thing? Like, look at this! Look at this! It did they, How did that not kill the guy in front of me? Like, this thing doesn't explode or anything. It literally just hits zombies, and then when it hits them, it kills them. But it doesn't even kill them in one shot. This is literally worse than the Magnetron. Is this thing not worse than the Magnetron, guys? Okay, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. I, I'm done. <laughs> I, I said I was going to be done on 21. I could keep going, but I don't know if I can even take it anymore, dude. Like, Exo Zombies, what the... And then you have this grenade that, like, does it teleport me or does it not? Because it, it makes my screen fuzzy, so I can't tell what's even going on, dude. I literally can't... Like... This game, there's way too much going on. Like, what is what is the point? Like, freaking put me into two boss fights, man. Like, why? Okay, I got a secret story cinematic of our heroes. You can watch it now or find it later by selecting story in the main menu. Like, <laughs> what am I even looking at, dude? Okay, story, hold on. What is this? Infection blaze like a fire storm across the western hemisphere consuming everyone and everything in its path and i was the matchless fucks had used to start it uh? i just couldn't remember any of it till now Shit! this place is coming apart take him down but you can't stop being what you truly are come on go 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 even if it's a monster Lucky? Take a good look at us. Look, if we survive, chances are Oz did too. We gotta be sure. 
So what happens if we find him? I think we, we put the voice being behind. We picked up some close chatter. We think it's an Atlas Black site. We start there. Atlas had always posed as the savior of mankind while constructing some of the most horrific and lethal weapons to exterminate it, all for cold hard cash. The only difference being this weapon came home. Okay, let's watch the descent. This is it. End of the line. It's better this way. I am what I am. And what I need to be is deleted from this world. That was was that Oz? Big bad Oz. Wait. I'll do it. Besides, there's only room for one monster in this world. Atlas will pay for what they did to you, Oz. And it had better watch its fucking ass. Lennox got promoted to lieutenant colonel for eradicating the source of the Atlas infection. He remains a total dick to this day. But I have to credit Lennox for pulling some strings and getting Decker admitted into Sentinel. Decker finally got his chance to be a proper soldier. He now fights on the front line against his former employer. Tired of the grime and the guns, Khan took up the fight against Atlas the best way he knew how, by suing them. The evidence he has amassed for his case is both substantial and damning. Of course, he had a little help from a former Atlas IT employee turned hacktivist. Atlas may stack the jury in their favor, but my bet is Lilith will serve her own brand of justice when she empties all their bank accounts. still fucking hate the Atlas Corporation. So they have clones of... I'm still not entirely sure because I haven't watched the Easter egg cutscenes because I haven't done the Easter eggs, but, um... Yeah. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, hang on a second. So, in the achievements here so i can look at yeah all of the uh the, the secret achievements but i'm looking for descent defeat oz yeah so yeah you have to do it you have to do it again yeah and then oz's challenges so it's it's interesting dude it's interesting um punch oz with a goliath yeah so Kill 100 enemies behind you with the, the trident. Yeah, the trident sucks. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but the trident absolutely sucked for me, dude. Like, what even... And, and again, it still doesn't say my personal best for some reason. Still. Still. Still says Outbreak. <laughs> like, it's not my personal best. No, it's my first game I ever played, dude. So, this map, dude, honestly... Right now, this is my least favorite map in this game. I literally like Infection a little bit slightly more simply because of the forced boss fights in this game. You should never, ever, ever, I don't care if the boss fights are easy because, I mean, they weren't necessarily hard. They're just super annoying because they literally take like 10 minutes, bro. Like, yeah, it was my first time doing them, so I was bad at them. But, dude, still, having to turn on the power every single time in between, like, it's just so annoying, dude. So uselessly, uselessly time-consuming, bro. Just time consuming for literally no reason. But, um, yeah, I, I just don't understand it, dude. Like, again, the, I like how it says get more maps as well, dude. But, like, I have every map in this game. But, yeah, Descent, the actual map layout is cool. I still think it's a step back from Carrier, though. I like Carrier's layout more. And maybe even Outbreak's layout more. Uh, 
I think Descent's layout is definitely better than Infection, but um, but yeah, I was I was pretty disappointed with this. And again, why is Decker holding an AK-47 in this, dude? That's it only in multiplayer in this game. They didn't even put it in zombies. But the Wonder Weapon, bro, I was excited. But what even is that Wonder Weapon? Like, am I using it wrong? Clearly, I must be because there's no way it's that garbage, bro. Like, man. Yeah, but I'm I'm very mixed on this map, dude. I better not have to do that boss those boss fights every time I play this map because if I do, literally, why I, I never see anybody talking about that. It literally teleports you into the boss fight arena, and that's way way worse than even the survivor rounds on infection, dude. Literally, obviously miles worse than the bomb diffusing on carrier, because the uh, like it just takes so long. Like, this video would be less than an hour if I didn't have to do those boss fights. Think about that. That's how much of a difference it makes. But anyways, though, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, I still enjoyed this this playthrough, but um, yeah, dude, the boss fights ruined it for me, dude. Like, what the heck even is that? But anyways, um, I will be playing this map in the future at least one more time over the next couple months because uh, I'll be doing a challenge on it, maybe even the Easter egg if I actually get that. But um, we'll see. Uh, yeah, but anyways, guys, that is going to conclude my playthrough here of Exo Zombies. Next up is Infinite Warfare Zombies, guys. I am going to be playing Infinite Warfare Zombies. It's going to be crazy. The Beast from Beyond, I played every single other map already, so the Beast from Beyond is going to be the next video here on this little mini-series. And, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll just be my first time playing that map. And then, like I said, the Tortured Path and the Frozen Dawn are the only ones we got after that. But, uh, yeah, anyways, hope you guys did enjoy it. Leave in the comments, though, what do you guys think of Infection? But, yeah, like I said, I better not have to do that boss fight. Th not just those boss fights, man. Multiple boss fights. I better not have to do that every time I play this map. Because if I do, I'm really going to hate this map, I feel like, dude. Unless I find a way to just quickly get... get like, in the second boss fight, I didn't even kill the monster. I didn't even kill Oz. Or whatever that was. Like, I did I not? I, he was, like, half dead. And then he just, the boss fight just ended. Like, did I take too long? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if I took too long and it just, like, ended it for me. But, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's a very confusing map. Very, very confusing map. Literally, it would be, it would be a good map without the dang boss fights in it, dude. Like, like, if I want to do a boss fight, I'll I'll set up for a boss fight, not just randomly get teleported into one, you know? Like, that's just stupid. Like, again, imagine if that happened on Gorod Grovey, man. Imagine. <laughs> like, or any map, dude. Even Zetsubo with, like, an easier boss fight. Still, like, you don't just put someone in a boss fight without them knowing, without them expecting it or even setting up for it, you know? Like, now I'm aware that they're going to happen, but it's just, like, it's too late, you know? Like, man, whatever. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy it. I will see you all in the next one. Like I said, in a couple days will be the uh, Beast from Beyond first playthrough. So definitely stay tuned. But anyways, have a good day, guys. And peace out.